Welcome to Six Minutes. Uh, my name is Jason Fulmore, <coughs> SE Russell. Today I'm here with uh, Allen University's uh, head coach, Eric Pack. Hey, coach, how are things going? Good. How you doing? I'm doing. I'm doing okay. You know, considering the situation and you know the uncertainty as far as what's going to happen this fall, but yeah, but uh, but but doing okay. So good, good, um, good, good. Yeah. So Allen University, um, I know is in South Carolina. Mm -hmm. um, and I know it's in Columbia, South Carolina, um, but I don't know a whole lot else about Allen. Can you tell me a little okay. bit about the school? Okay, well, at, we're, we're a small HBCU. Like you said, we're located in Columbia, South Carolina. It's exactly in the, you know, we're in the capital. We're right down the road from the state house. Um, you know, we, we, we average about 627 students. Uh, last year, we, I think we overachieved that by our numbers. Um, our class ratio is 15 to one. Um, okay. and we're actually, we're actually adding some majors, uh, we're adding elementary education. I think that's going to be real, real exciting bringing that onto the campus. And I think that's also going to kind of help grow our numbers, uh, as a school. Um, but it's, it's a, it's a lovely campus. It's a very historic campus. Um, so like I said, it's small, but very nice. You know, it's, it's, you know, it's a good place to be. Very cool. Well, and you mentioned it's an HB, HBCU, which, mm -hmm is really unusual for wrestling because yeah. we have a lot of HBCUs across the Southeast, but I think Allen's the only one that wrestles. Well, at, at one time, I kind of did a little research one time, just to kind of, at one time they were between, I, I may be off my numbers, 17 to 22, but they recently dropped. Wow. Um, and we're actually, there is one more that's a uh, fan you, but they're a club team down in Florida, mm -hmm. but we're actually the only one that offer, you know, we have scholarships for wrestling. Awesome. So, you know, we're actually the only HBC right now that offers wrestling with a scholarship off. Yeah, and you, I know you guys were a club team and then transitioned to becoming um, an actual NAIA program. And now this year, you're, you're actually getting ready to go to D2. Yes. Um, but do you, and you weren't there when they made that transition, but do you know how they kind of, was it just the administration was like, the, the club was doing really well and they wanted to move. I, it I think that I, I wasn't here, but I think that's what it was. I think it was almost like a, I might be guessing. I think it's more like a trial base and see how they kind of the numbers grew. And all, obviously, you know, you know, small schools are numbers driven. So it's an opportunity to bring right. students on the campus. So if you get that opportunity, same with HBCU, it, obviously I think it might, one of the good factors that it grew, how it did. Awesome. Well, you are going from NAIA to D2, yes. which I don't know if it's a step up in competition. It's probably still pretty similar in competition, yes, pretty yes, tough. Yes. But, you know, I don't know that your schedule changes a lot because you guys already wrestle a lot of D2 schools in South Carolina, right? Newberry, actually, Limestone. This, yes. Actually, this year, that's what we, we, we don't, the penalty we have, we have matches with Limestone, um, Lander, uh, you know, a lot of Division II schools that are close by for traveling purpose. But, yes, you know, we're, we're, we're wrestling a lot of those. Awesome. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. That's awesome. So, you, uh, this, this past season was your first season. Yes. Yes. Um, a lot of young faces, a lot Very of new young. faces. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, uh, but, uh, one of the things that I noticed, um, when I was doing a little bit of research on Alan, was that you brought in a huge class or a big class. Yes. You brought in a lot of really, really good kids that have some really good high school accolades. Um, I know there were two state runners up in, in South mm -hmm. Carolina, um, James Stegan and Nicole Martin. Yeah. Is that right? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. And, um, and I know a couple of the other names, Rico Robinson, because I saw Rico wrestle at mm -hmm. the Southern Slam. Yes. Um, for, is that Somerville? Do you wrestle for Somerville? Somerville? Yes. Yeah. I actually have him and a, and a teammate of his uh, coming from Somerville. Awesome. But you not only recruited within South – actually, let's talk about South Carolina first because your background is in South Carolina. You were yes, the head coach at Swansea um, before you took the job, right? Yes, yes. I was, I've been at Swansea since. I was an assistant first, and then I became the head coach. Uh, I think I became the head coach uh, after three years of being an assistant there. I was under Quincy Riley, who's, who's actually in the Hall of Fame. You know, I actually coached with him. Wow. And got, he mentored me, which was good. Uh -huh. kind of helped me get the ranks of going into being a head coach. But, you know, yes, I've from, coached there for quite a while. Well, and you guys were the, I think, the 3A runners-up in duels in 18? 
Yes, we were. We were. Um, yeah. That was exciting. That was an exciting time. Nerve wracking, but still exciting time to, to lead the program to that. Yeah. So you, you seem like you're in good position as far as that. And then, and then with your coaching roots in South Carolina, I, I would assume it's easier to reach out to a lot of these South Carolina kids because you know them. Yes. It, it, and, and knowing a lot of the coaches made it a whole lot easier. I think uh, you know, when I got the job, I reached out to a lot of them. And I, I knew, like you said, I, I've already seen some of those kids, you know, some of those students wrestle before. And I was like, man, I, I know I need to get this to be part of this program. You know, every one of them is going to play a key role in help building and grow the program. So, you know, that, that made life a little bit easier having those coaches and having a, having a uh, relationship with them prior to this. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Well, like I was getting ready to say before uh, we talked a little bit more about South Carolina, is you not only were in South Carolina, you reached out to, I think you got a kid from Illinois coming in. I think mean, mm -hmm. you got a kid from Florida coming in. You got a trio from my neck of the woods over here in Alabama coming in. So you, um, you were able to reach beyond the, 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 the boundaries of South Carolina to reach some of those kids. Is that, is that something part of your kind of plan is to reach across the Southeast? Yes, I, I had some connections. And I, I'll tell you this, you know, uh, a lot of times uh, recruiting comes to, you know, people you may know in the past and they reach out and tell you about a student athlete and then, you know, looking at them on video and then, you know, being impressed by them. But I, I'll say this, I'm a little bit old school. I'm, I'm going to, once I get to reach out, look at videos, I'm, I'm going to travel and come and see you at a state tournament or something just to kind of see your face, you know, kind of see you in action kind of live. You know, that, that made it exciting. Like I said, I did travel to Alabama this past year and it was it had a great time at the tournament met a lot of great coaches and you know I went looking for one wrestler and came back with a whole bunch of coaches information and <laughs> a bunch of more kids and I was like I'm coming back next year so yes yes that's fantastic well you know I I travel around to a lot of the different places and I I'm not coaching during the season so the juggling between not only coaching your own program but also trying to get out and see the kids and do those sorts of things has got to be a pretty pretty challenging yeah, it, it is. You've got to have a lot of good, you know, kind of working out a good schedule and getting practice done. But, you know, I was fortunate this year, uh, you know, to, how it worked out to be able to get, do a lot of traveling with and see them and not, awesome. and not miss a lot of practice. Yeah, that's awesome. So what, um, what are you looking for? So we talked about some of your incoming athletes. What are you looking for within, you know, for your student athletes, you know? Uh, first off, I'll be honest, you hit the keyword student athlete. I'm looking for an a athlete that's going to come in here. He's going to put academics first. I know that's my, you know, some coaches may say obviously, but that, that's the main thing for them to get a degree. Secondly, just this kid, they have a hard, a good work ethic. Um, you know, they, they're obviously talented when you look at them and you know, you want to get them in and, and develop them further, but just have a good overall work ethic, you know, coming in the room, being coachable um, and just having that drive. I think, you know, you know, we have some runner ups, like you mentioned, I think they still have that drive that, you know, that they want to come in and still be proven, you know, and I, I, I love that. You know, all of my talk to, they still are enthusiastic and really want to wrestle, you know, and, and that's big. That's fantastic. So um, as we go into this year, hopefully things work out as far as mm -hmm. the whole uh, quarantine, coronavirus and everything else. But um, I assume you'll be reaching out to different kids. But let's say a kid um, wants to know more information about Allen University, is really interested in, you know, investigating kind of what the program looks like and that sort of thing. What's the best way for them to get in contact with you or the, or the university to find out what, what they, what's that process kind of look like, I guess. They can, we have, actually, I have an Instagram. Uh, it's on the Allen U Wrestling. We have a Facebook. It's on the also Allen U Wrestling. Uh, they can email me at epac at Allen U, uh, Allen University .edu. Um, And that, that's the best way to reach. They can go on our school website, um, like Allen University, click on wrestling. They can have my email on there also. Okay. And those are some ways that they can, they can reach me. Is it, um, is it, is it helpful for you to, if they send in a, a tape to, of some of their highlights from wrestling, or is that and not, not really? Well, I'll tell you, with, with track wrestling now, usually most of them, they'll send me, they'll send me their name, and I can go and track and look them up. And, and, you know, that, and then usually I'll start the process of, like, communicating back and forth with them through that way. So most of, most of the young men that have reached out to me have done it through email already. Okay. And then I'll, they'll send me a link where I can actually see they're, you know, they're wrestling on track wrestling, or they'll send me some videos, which is also pretty helpful. Well, Coach, we are super excited about your move from NAIA to, to D2. Um, I'd love to have some more conversations in the future about, 
you know, I've, I've talked to some of the Florida, uh, Florida A&M um, crew mm -hmm. and that sort of thing. You know, if we can be helpful in any way um, to try to get more HBCUs kind of involved with, you know, wrestling and these things like that in the Southeast, I think that would be fantastic. So, yeah, that'd be awesome. Yes, it would. Yeah. Well, let, let, let us know and we'll kind of work together. Best of luck on this coming season. And um, Thank you. I appreciate you taking the time. All right. Thank you.